This is Twit. Before we go too much farther, yeah. I want to show you something. Oh, did you get your shipping notice? Uh, More than a notice, my friend. Yeah. How does that happen? The Snapdragon dev dev kit is here. Did you, uh, Richard, get get your... I got my shipping notice, but of course I'm not home. You're not home to get it. It's got to cross a border. Can I I unbox it? Absolutely. All right. Please This is exciting. I'll I'll show you. I didn't expect to do this until February. I know. It was saying January. Yeah, it was saying January. They want, uh, for YouTube, I have to do a little thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you I go. got it. <laughs> that was, that was our YouTube thumbnail yep. requested by Kevin. This is the, um, let's see, I guess I should put it under the, uh, I have a special camera for just such occasions. First time we've used it. First of mm-hmm. all, look at this envelope. What is this? Is this something exciting in here? An invitation? It says, thank you for being a developer. Welcome. It does. It says, congratulations on purchasing the Snapdragon dev kit. Get ready to take your development skills to the next level. I wonder if they support Lisp. And then here. Does anyone? (laughs) Yeah, actually, they do. I could put Lisp on this. There There she she is. I actually pre-unwrapped from plastic. So this is, it's kind of like a Mac mini. Let me get the box out of the way here. Um, And I can, I have it set up so I can plug it in. Uh, while you guys talk about other things, that's fantastic. Uh, to answer the question, yeah, let's look at some. Let's look at that HDMI port. That okay, I yeah. So you mm. asked a question about the HDMI port. To answer that, there is no HDMI port on the case, but Ooh, look at what comes in, in the power supply. It's a USB C to HDMI adapter. Mm-hmm. I bet so, if you open the box, you'd see a port, though. That's I will. Thing. I'll take it apart. I don't want to do that on the show today, yeah. but I'll take it apart. Um, there is on this side a uh, opening for the fan. Mm-hmm. In fact, you can see inside there's a little copper uh, cooling heat, sinks, yep. heat sink. On the back, there's Ethernet. There's the power adapter. It has a big brick. God, this thing looks like a utilitarian router. I it love does, it. doesn't it? Yeah. It's black, black. Yeah. Uh, Vanta black. It's got mm-hmm. two USB-A type 3s. But no covered up HDMI port. Like, no. They, they may well, that, But the I'm wondering if it's not a piece of hard plastic. Yeah, you know. but it would show. We'd have a seam or something on it. Well, there well, is no, a I mean, weird thing the on the case. front that maybe is oh, related. See. Okay, so yeah. here's the front with another uh, another Thunderbolt. I don't. I think it's Thunderbolt. Yeah, it just says it two on it. Yeah, it's HB USB four slash USB four. Yeah. They just don't have the certification on off right? switch. And then this, which, which is, is a weird cover. It looks like a micro SD or a it, it yeah. is it's a micro SD, but it's weird that they they're covering it. Yeah, like, why would you do that? <laughs> That's, why would you yeah, that? yeah. So I wonder if that has something to do with I don't know I don't know what that is that's weird, and then the yep. the light for power, uh, underneath more uh, more venting. All we know uh, for sure is that their shipping scheduling software does not work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> evaluation only, not FCC approved for resale. Uh, wow. Interesting. Okay. Well, so that, remember this was the issue was they didn't get FCC it. approval apparently yeah. for the HDMI. Right. So. Um, maybe so we're evaluating it, Leo. That's why I am only, well, that is exactly what I'm doing. I'm evaluating it. So I have, uh, I have a, a you know, I have attached the, uh, HDMI and a, I've got a keyboard and a mouse and I'm ready to, to do this. In fact, let me, uh, let me get my HDMI cable over here and plug it in to their adapter. Cause who knows? Maybe this is a proprietary. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Braided cable, though. It's nice. It's a nice adapter. That's I'll nice. put that in the, in the front of it. They definitely so, went for the fancy adapter. Yeah. So this is exciting. I'll, I'll plug it in and fire it up. And uh, but So uh, yeah, presumably yours is awaiting you. Uh, when I get home. I When I do a three-week trip, I do hold mail. Like, Yeah, that's I, smart. I, yeah, it's just too much stuff. And. Right. Generally, generally speaking, I could, the local post office, they'll keep stuff for a week for me. Like, I just tell them I'm going to be away for a week. Don't right. clog up the boxes. Right. But at, at some point, they need to start sending stuff back unless I put in a hold mail. So. This is the brick. Reminds me of the uh, of a Jeez. Lenovo uh, brick. Yeah. And it is, unfortunately, proprietary. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. not. It's that. No. I, you could, couldn't call it proprietary. It's a, it's a plug. You could probably buy a replacement you on could Amazon buy it. pretty easily. Yeah. But yeah, you'd easily. have to figure out exactly what it's the size was. This is a. Uh, this comes from the uh, well-known Hunt Key Company. Yeah, yeah, I love those yeah. guys. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it actually is labeled on the back, 19 volts DC. So yeah, obviously it's not. It's not proprietary, but I wish it were. My, do I wish it were Type C powered? I mean, maybe not. Maybe I. Not. You wouldn't want to take up a port, honestly. That's right. Yeah. No. On a Although, laptop, maybe, but not on a not on a desktop. Yeah. 
I don't mind yeah. brick. I don't know. Those are. I bet the USB power supplies that are that big are kind of expensive still. That might yeah, two hundred watts is about the limit on PD. So yeah, if right. it's coming in at one eighty. That's pushing. Yeah. Yep. Well, good. I will. Uh, I'll fire this up and uh, we'll do the um, cool. The welcome experience. It'll be just like a normal Windows machine, right? Yep. Should well, I mean, yeah, it should be. Who knows? Actually, normal. you'll probably experience the uh, extended out of box experience where it installs the latest feature update, whether you want it or not, <laughs> before you can touch it. That's what, that's it's nice. <laughs> that's good. That's a good thing, right? I, it's a required thing. It doesn't matter. It's uh, okay. it's like a prostate exam, Leo. You know, we know you don't like it. <laughs> it's not a good thing. It's happening, <laughs> but you need so. It. You know, it's all, all right. I didn't mean attitude. to hijack the show, but I just yeah, was so excited. We've been talking about this since we ordered them in July. Sure. Yeah. The last you know, thing I can I assure you, this will be the most interesting thing we yeah. talk about today. <laughs> the it, last it does mean once I get home, we could do an all Snapdragon show, right? <gasps> yeah. All I'm, I'm using, using Snapdragon. Snapdragon right now. There you go. So this is the equivalent of a Copilot plus PC, right? Is it? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It is. Actually, that's a good thing right there. I wonder if you get that stuff. Mm hmm. So, yeah, so we'll find out. That's running. Yep. It says powered by Snapdragon Elite X on the front. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can't really see that. Also, we should so, find which the uh, which chip is it? Is it the highest end one? Oh, because if so, do. those are pretty rare. Yeah. Let me let me see if it says anything. Yes, yeah, Snapdragon X Elite, but. You would only know by the number of cores, right? Is yeah. that how you would tell? Well, you can, yeah. If, you, if it doesn't say in the box, you'll, you'll be able to tell when you get into Windows. Hey, it's me, Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Windows Weekly. If you want to see more and want to catch the whole show, you can subscribe in your favorite podcast client or visit our website, twit.tv slash WW. And of course, there's links right below me.